Hey, I'm Austin with Absorb Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show why I have two monitors and how you can benefit from a dual monitor setup and also how to enable it in Premiere. So a dual monitor setup can help you be a little more productive in multitasking or at least viewing two different things at once. Some reasons you may want to have dual monitor set up like this is for client previewing. If you got like a meeting room and you're showing a client a preview of the edit while you're working on it, or if you're an editor working with a director and they're watching the film as you edit in a room, sometimes they'll have the editing screen and a giant screen as the second monitor on the wall while the uh, director or client, whoever you're working with that you're editing for, can preview the film while you're editing it. Also, you can be using the second monitor to watch a YouTube tutorial while you're following it in editing in Premiere or something, or After Effects, or learning any literally anything you could be using the second monitor for while watching a tutorial. I have also seen dual monitor setups like this and other configurations too, to where it's actually hooked up to two different computers. I've seen some people who have like their video editing monitor and then they move over to like their photo editing monitor, or they have a video rendering here and they just switch over to the other screen to edit on the other computer. And there's a lot of keyboard and mouses that let you switch between computer systems too really quickly and easily. So I'll give you guys a couple of reasons why I have a dual monitor setup. So the main reason I want a dual monitor setup is so I can have a full screen preview of when I'm editing a film. So during my edit, I can be looking at it and then have the preview screen showing what, I, what it's actually gonna look like in full resolution on a full screen. I also love color grading this way so I have a full screen preview of everything real big in front of my face and see the colors on a full screen while I'm tweaking everything. So another big reason I like having a second monitor is sometimes I edit a lot of videos for international companies where I am doing a lot of translations. <laughs> I don't do the translations myself, I usually work with a translator, but I am putting in English subtitles or Japanese subtitles on a lot of things and usually having a script translated beside me for the closed captioning on one screen or above, wherever, or however your setup is, having the script there while working on a script. And if you're working with a client that maybe has like really tight edit cues on like timestamps and stuff, this is really helpful to have all the notes right there on one side of the screen while you're editing. So those are the reasons I have a dual monitor setup. Now I'm gonna show you how to enable a second monitor in Premiere if you don't know how to do that. Okay, so this is how you enable your second monitor as the preview monitor in Adobe Premiere. And the preview monitor is gonna show this screen here, or this window here, full screen on your second monitor, or third, or fourth. So how you do this is you go up to Edit, Preferences, go down to where it says Playback, click on that, and that should bring up a list of your monitors connected to your computer. Check the one you want to be the preview screen, and then click OK. And that's all there is to it. And if you want to remove it off the preview screen or switch it to a different monitor, go back to edit, same process, preferences, playback, and then just uncheck it. It's that easy. Okay, now I also try to think of some cons to having a dual monitor setup. And the only things I can think of is clutter and it doesn't really make your workspace look cleaner. I did the best I could with this. I would rather have two monitors side by side, but the uh, I got two awkward sizes. I, I didn't buy this setup all at once. I ended up with a second one later and did this. So. I'll probably have a new setup at some point this year. I'm not entirely sure yet. I honestly would like to have one big monitor and just split screen it. You could also do that. But um, yeah, this is working for me right now. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found that helpful of why you might have dual monitors or if you're trying to decide if you need a second monitor. I think it's very helpful. And honestly, I've been trying to minimize my desk, but I can't get rid of the second monitor because it's too useful to me. And I use it literally on every project. So that's it for this one. If you like this video, Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And that is it from me on this one. Um, yeah, bye.